Good old Driscoll's. Pack watch for them. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And welcome to episode 30 of Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's get back into it. Alrighty. We are already in the swamp. That's a wonderful start. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Oh boy, how far we've come in this game. Let's see. So, Sadie. Got one for Dutch. Uh, I think the Sadie one is uh, helping get John out of uh, the chain gang. So, let's go on and do that. Nope, oh, excuse me, horse. Good old adventurers. Good to see you again, buddy. Yep. Oh, man. To get all my items back and everything. Yep. There's my boy. It's no good. What is going on here? Eh, well. Dollar seventy five. Does this horse have anything in the uh, old saddlebag? Crappy old sand to me. Why is everyone talking wass out here? Oh, more Stranger Things. Noted. Out of the way! No, sir. High society type stuff. Move one moment, please. This is extremely delicate. Hey. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? Tacitus you a, Kilgore. Uh, hat, perhaps. Uh, How about a nymph? 
I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, of course, too ephemeral. You want something uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Bro, uh, what? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist? Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. no. They are Philistines in that area, not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble, is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven. <sighs> sure. Well, Arthur I do looks pay rough. exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Hey, more things to collect. Old Tacitus Kilgore. This stuff's old water. I do not like this city. This is a good citizen. Come on, it's not far. Just down the street here. <laughs> I knew it, Arthur is sick, man. Give me a minute. <laughs> oh no, he's coughing up blood. I'll be fine in a minute. Just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. <laughs> Mister, I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. 
Here, let do you? Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Let me see your tongue. Say ah. Ah. Yeah, wash your hands. What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. No. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What you mean? You're real sick. You. It's a progressive disease. And you'll be. Now, the best thing is rest. And getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. Tuberculosis. Told you this man was getting sicker. <sighs> this man's got TB, bruh. What? Where do I even? Wait, am I going the right way? No, other way. <sighs> this is crazy, man. Soon we'll all be dying. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. That is tough. Bruh, Arthur down tremendous. I bring you knowledge from the East. The knowledge of New York. The brilliant minds of Wall Street brought here to the South to help those wise enough to help themselves. Let me help you help yourselves. Well, Excuse me. we might as well, uh, and go out looking drippy. You know, things are looking up. Oh, that beard sure looks ready for a trim. Got an idea of what you want? <sighs> to live? Alright, uh... Yeah, 
Let's take this all down, big dog. Ah, looking sharper than attack. Thanks, dog. All right, let's see what this facial hair looks like. Oh man. Yeah, we got like we're struggling some. There we go. Hmm. Oh, that's what Arthur looks like. I forgot. <laughs> A man's whiskers can make or break his whole deportment, you know. Yeah, we're gonna go to a six. Ah, suits you. There we go. Looking droopy, Arthur. There we go. Please, tell your friends about us. Thanks, Mister. Alright. Let's go rescue Mr. Marston. Time flies. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. Slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Grab the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. <laughs> it's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So, I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkertons showed up. Oh, by the way, I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. What? Yeah, seems they've drifted down this way now. You're a busy woman, Sandy Adler. 
She a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. <clears throat> Are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh. pull on that rope <clears throat> and hope for the best. Ah! You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. Right, time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir. We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. Heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. You won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldessario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions discussion. Well, just say the word. Exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. 
Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in the mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. Okay, we're getting a little high now. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want to have your customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. To... I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. unusual relax mr bullard take over keep us well away i'll do my best this philly isn't the easiest to control you know that ain't john nope not there should we uh think about heading back looks like it it's hard to tell, though. Yep, that's him. Ah! My God! What are you doing? They're shooting at us! I can see that! Ascent! Ascent! You in hell! Go be a shadow brain for you, tender boy! Didn't I tell you this would happen? Picking us. Ah! We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Dear God, I'm shaking like a leaf. Uh, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good Lord, my heart is pounding. <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <laughs> ah, there's Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord, is that... is that Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy it. Hey, Sadie! Up here! Good old Driscoll's. Pack watch for them. Oh dear, that boiled egg feels disgusting.
Just living his life. Dallas trash. Okay. I think I understand now. in this order. Not too bad, not too bad. That wasn't the worst. Did you break your neck? I don't think so. Uh, maybe. <coughs> oh, damn it, look. There's more of them on the other side. It's okay. They must have followed us. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. Yep. Let's put them on, let's put them on pack watch. Dealing with Odriscoll since probably the second episode. Driscoll's. You can't leave it for one. Hey! Just kill these sons of.
Demon voice. I only left you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I we have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston! You saw him? Yes. In the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No, but from the fields, yes, that we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat. A little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. Right. I heard that. Oh man, this is some wild stuff going on. All right, now we got a Dutch mission. Uh. Roll the lot of Driscoll's in a pack. Nice little camp spot. We warned you not to come back on our territory. Oh shoot! Oh I forgot about these dudes. Totally forgot about the Mumphrey brood. They just happened to show on up, roll them straight in a pack. <sighs> Man. All right, now we can enjoy our nice little camp spot.
You okay there? Fine. Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back. And I'm sitting here. And I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily enactors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just... Well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. <laughs> but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my, my final move, but... I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss him. I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now. And I seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we just... There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you could take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Hmm. Him and Micah. I don't trust that dude, though. But whatever. Whatever. Let's go, Charles. Charles, be right with me. Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's going through brute country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. Yeah, you're gonna need something bigger. There we understand. go. What are we doing there? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while your boys were away. And? Hmm. We'll see. 
I know the way. Follow me. to get this done fast. The Pinkertons will have reinforced in an another day or two. Yeah, the sooner we get out of here, the better. Get it's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? Yeah, a boat's probably a good idea. Okay, good. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while. Then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed his ass. You did good getting the others out of there. Keeping everyone together? Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition to yours. Watch it. <laughs> Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh... I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure our Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Yeah, you're right. Just... It's been... I guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? Of course. the bridge oh there should be some canoes down to the right here well I see one anyway that'll do come on up river so I spent some time up this way while you were gone I ran into rains fall and eagle flies the Indians and I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation things are bad there that's not a surprise they seem to be in a lot of trouble and heading in the war some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves and we're gonna need to be careful they're animals Everyone is terrified of them. Great! Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here, it's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near, even the law. Just be ready. It won't be pretty. So be it.
Hunter Creek up ahead. Who are they? The locals. Well, they don't look too friendly. Until you meet the Murphys. All right, let's walk it from here. Good evening. You know how we get to the caves at Beaver Hollow? You'll get away if you know what's good for you. Come on, they're not gonna help us. I'm pretty sure it's to the north, up the road here. Yeah, we are in the hills of Alabama. Lord. Come on, Charles, can we get this over with? These Murphy Hills, stranger, might watch where you wander. Bit of a walk. We could grab those horses if you want. Probably won't miss them if we get them back by morning. You can see why folks don't want to come around here. Ain't exactly a welcoming place. Lots of stories of people going missing around these parts. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Guess that's good for us. Assuming these inbred bastards are willing to part with their home, <laughs> which I'm sure they won't be too pleased about. No, but I believe they hide out all over Roanoke Ridge. These caves are just one of their spots, which is why we should keep it down. They might have lookouts around. Okay. You see that up ahead? Slow down, keep it quiet. It could be some of them. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Follow me, stay quiet. Let's get closer to him. Come on, up this way. Definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them from here. You take one. I'll take the other. Because I do the skinning. Well, how about I? Good job. Oh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. See what's going on. That's the stagecoach went missing. Jesus. Lord. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What you think? We can head into the cave or 
Flush them out with dynamite. Oh no, dynamite. Dynamite be safer. Yeah. Let's be quiet and hope they don't come out. Let's get this over with. Let's go. Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? Take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Good guy, Arthur. Annisburg, right? Yes. They... 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 they um... It's okay, miss. The others, they... They killed them. You're safe now. Just... Try to breathe. They're animals? I know. <laughs> It's all right, miss. Why would they... Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, 
If you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Yeah. Place is yours. Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Mona. Ma! Ma! Meredith! She's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, ma'am. Murphy brood guys. Oh my god. How did you manage well, to? I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Oh, that that's okay, ma'am. You just Keep her warm and keep her safe. This is down. Oh no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Thanks, buddy. Is that the one that snitched on us? Can't remember. What an interesting time in these hills. How far we've come. Gonna return their horse? a girl I took her home oh you and Micah find anything maybe I think maybe I found our old friend Mr. Cornwall you did yeah he's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg relentlessly ambitious fella isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about see if he knows we're here and exactly what his plans are so Dutch did you miss me I found her uh -oh. drunk as Saint Denis you're back how jolly Miss O'Shea it's funny you suck a shit back Who and drunk the mass the Lord Molly, God Almighty! Calm down. I won't be ignored, George Vanderlyn. I am in him. I ain't her. I ain't even stooges. Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry. Yeah, I told them, and I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who? What? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, She's shoot crazy. me. She ain't worth it. You told on <laughs> oh, me. You're you not betrayed so now, me. What? Wow. Wow. Calm down. Arthur? <laughs> She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Hurry, Your Majesty. You. Dang. Dang. Miss Grimshaw about she it. She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Get back to work. Lord. Well, we know who snitched. Mm. I guess Dutch is a true city boy. He had her going mad.
right. That is a... Oh. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Well, uh, that's a great place to stop for the night. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.